Hey guys, DMike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We're just gonna scoot our way out of here. Slip sliding out of the gym. And that's it. So, kind of an anticlimactic finish to uh, everything. We need to actually put our team back together. <laughs> Cause I totally forgot that I didn't acquire enough of them in the process of trying to complete everything, I goofed and did not bring enough, enough of the kiddos. So we're gonna fix that right here, right now. And we're gonna mix the team up again. Give some, uh, some less screen timed faces. I mean, it's like, I say that, but basically everybody's the same. Every actually, you know what? I'm getting kind of at the point where I think Brandy's not gonna ever make it on the team. Doesn't really contribute in much of a meaningful way. Kind of, it's a bit of a turnoff for me. All right, so now that we're done, we have. Oops. Yes. Look at all these beautiful not dirty like they've been soaking in coffee like badges man i cannot talk today i totally forgot what that word was like the badges so we're done now so we should be able to go check out like acuity right that would make sense i don't remember which way it is we will find it don't worry ladies and gentlemen we will conquer this enduring puzzle and it looks like the way is open now so we can go find the lake pokemon actually we're here to check on barry and look who it is gosh dang jupiter oh poor barry I mean, we took down Jupiter pretty easily before, so I know Barry's team's not like the most diverse team. He's not going to be winning any Pokemon championships, but. Okay, looks like the Veilstone HQ is the, uh, the place to be. Yeah, that's right. I sent you back into orbit. I clapped your moons. That's right. Oh, are you threatening me right now? Get out of here. Don't bother wasting your time coming to the area where we're gonna be. Okay. Oh man, poor Barry. He looks so sad there, hanging out with him, him and his purse. Ugh. You're right, Barry. It's about getting stronger, harder, better, faster, and stronger. Okay. So that's literally the episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, just kidding. If I actually had the time and energy, I would cut to the final screen, but I don't. I'm just yanking your chains. We're headed to Veilstone. Let's fly. Let's be fly while we fly. Who's ready to take on the HQ? I sure am. But before we do that, if you remember, we did acquire a really cool HM. And there's a spot to use it that's not the way that I went. Great. Okay. It's trying to be all cool, and I, I goofed. All right, here we go. We did have other opportunities to use Rock Climb. Also, I, I think that I sort of appreciate a jar of incense. What? What does that do? I feel like that's probably like an evolution item or something. Blah, 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 blah. Help a Pokemon and makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Okay. No idea what that's talking about. But anyway. I, uh... What was I even saying? I don't remember. I had other opportunities to use 
What am I doing? I want to go to the Pokemon Center. This is what I get for uh, firing up a recording before firing up my gosh dang noggin. Should have done some mental gymnastics before I started to record. That's okay. And actually, I need to swap out Sharon really quick and you'll see why in a moment. I've got a surprise for you guys. Actually, it shouldn't be a surprise if you know why. If you know what's good for ya. Yeah, Miguel and Sharon are on par, that's fine. That's fine, everything is fine. But yeah, I had other opportunities to rock climb in the uh, in the snowy tundra, but I just I just didn't. But anyway, this is open now. I think this was open before anyway. Where did I get the key? I don't remember. I think the key, the key is uh, in the HQ itself. Well, I don't remember if you come out that way, but you will eventually. Oh my gosh, where am I going? Oh, everything is horrible. Should just restart the episode. Nah, we're good. We're doing fine. It's fine, guys. Everything's fine. Well, this guy likes a nice long antenna. Can't blame him. He remembers us. Oh, poor guy. Oh. Oh, he just pooped out a Pokeball. Would you look at that? Okay. There's the storage key that I was talking about. Talking about. Now we have it. We can go in the uh, the back door here, as we do. We will approach quickly. Okay. I would love to use the storage key on this rusty back door. Oh no! You don't want to snap off your key in the keyhole, that's bad. But, this is what I came here for. Hopefully you guys are ready. A dusk stone. This is very exciting. We are one step closer to the entire team being fully evolved. Here we go. This is one of my favorite Pokemon. This is a, a wonderful opportunity. Yes. Feast your eyes, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful creature. Miguel has evolved into Haunch Crow. Look at that. So suave. Look at that tail feather. Shake your tail feather. The big boss Pokemon. Coming active at night, it is known to form flocks with nerm numer numer numerous Murkrow and Toe. Wow, what a great Pokedex entry, if I could say it. Okay, let's take a look at uh let's take a look at Miguel's stats here. See how much more better we are. Oh yeah, look at how much increased that attack stat is. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Miguel's the real deal. I think we could go this way. You know, let's just go this way. I honestly don't know what I'm doing at this point. Ooh. Well, it's because you're not sucking. You gotta kiss the right butts. What is this music? Let's take a moment and just listen to this. Is this the the Veilstone hideout music from like the original games? Because that sounds like just a mess. Okay. So unfortunately, you're gonna be experiencing your kind of your bog standard uh your first look at Miguel the Haunch Crow. It's a battle of the birds. Actually, Golbat's not a bird, but you know, same thing. This is a, uh, you're gonna be experiencing a lot of your bog standard Pokemon once again. Hopefully you, you weren't expecting much, because this is what you're gonna be getting a lot of, unfortunately. It's the Veilstone hideout and uh, it's a lot of same old, same old, you know, it's, that's okay. That's okay. Oh! Burns you up to 11? 
Are you burning up for me, baby? How about that? I don't know if there's anything back this way. I actually don't know where anything is. This is a very blind run through. Okay. So we are not special enough for that door. We will come back. Okay, the music's starting to settle in a little bit. It's not quite that bad, but man, it started out real bad. Okay. Some drugs, if you're into that. Another battle. Yeah, this is just gonna be a whole lot of uh, insurrection of the Veilstone hideout. We're breaking in, coming in at the back door and smearing poop on the walls. That's what we're doing. Gonna break down the doors and beat cops with batons. Don't actually do that. That's bad. That's mean. Stop. Stop it right now. But we do have plenty of Pokemon here on our team that are weaker that we do want to start leveling up because we're getting kind of close to the end. There's only one more gym to do and wait, what? It's not super effective? It's bug. Bug fly? Oh no, it's bug poison. Well, that's lame. Boo. Oh, and you're going to pull. Oh my gosh. I'm being punished right now. Punished for a mistake. I didn't even know. Badly poisoned. I love using toxic though. So I guess this is. This is fair. Um, I don't know if I really have anything that's good against. Uh, Good against the dust stocks. You know, we haven't seen Dimitri in ages, so let's get some last licks in for Dimitri. I say that. Not to be a spoiler, I still don't know who is going to quite make the final team yet. And if I had a very robust watch, watching base, viewer base, I can't figure out what words are, I would let you vote on it, but Unfortunately, that we're not there yet. We're not quite there yet as a as a group y'all. We're not there But when we do get there voting will be had there will be polls There will be multiple choice questions You'll love it. it'll be great for all of you It's for your health Oof. yeah, we got to get rid of this dust ox that poison is making me sick Bam got him but I'm going to try to even out the team. As much as I've complained about how annoying the experience all, it's very helpful in moments like this. And you've got Pokemon like Grayson and Suzanne Raymond who are falling behind a bit. Man, that Toxic is nasty. We're going to swap out with Bronzor. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get Grayson in there. Give it the chomp. I can imagine that being too fun for anybody, but, you know, what better thing to buy a floating psychic disc than a dragon? Huh? Yes. If Grayson keeps it up, he might be flinching this bronze order to death and also getting the final spot on the team. Who knows? We'll find out. Another flinch would be cool. No. Just another annoying ending to this battle. Why not? Why not okay i always forgot oh this has levitate why did i do that no i'm a dummy oh wait does this work oh i guess it doesn't have levitate never mind or maybe maybe bulldoze is one of those moves that doesn't play by the rules just like me okay i love how i'm getting all this money and i have like spent none of it <laughs> We're gonna have to like buy a cool outfit or something at the uh, expensive outfit place. Okay, so there are warp panels, which is great because I am very good with my sense of direction. Find me, please. We're decking the halls. A little bit too late to be making that joke. Christmas time is over. Spring is in the air. It's finally nice to be able to go outside and have a warm weekend. Yeah. Is anybody else 
like doing things and stuff? I do. Get a little bit of that vitamin D. Always helps. Good for your your brain juices. Oof. I like using Raymond, but Raymond does not have enough oomph in the defense department to uh, to really make much of an impact, unfortunately. Soon, a level up into an evolution would certainly help. We just need some beef. And that actually would have been really horrible if, uh, if Scarlet was still a Skaroopy, but thankfully. We are no longer a bug subtype, so we're doing great. Super menacing. Oh. That's right. Big things come in small packages. And big packages come in small... So... This is gonna be some trial and error. I'm just trying to take a moment to fish out where all of these warp panels go because I don't know off the top of my head. Oh yeah, this music's making sense to me now. I've heard this before. Okay. It just needed a little bit of time to set in. You ever listen to like a new song and it doesn't quite like settle with you? Yeah, that happened to me. Oh, I forgot we have Earthquake. Earthquake's a great move, but I have to figure out who I want to teach it to because there are Pokemon on my team that could benefit from it now, but some of them learn it naturally. I don't want to use it on a Pokemon that are, is already going to get it. So Earthquake, user sets off an Earthquake, crazy. That strikes every Pokemon around it. Very good for double battles if your partner is a Burb. Scald, user shoots boiling hot water at its target. This may also leave the target with the burn, like me and my sweet jokes. And finally, Flash Cannon. User gathers all its light energy and releases it all at once. This may also lower the target's special defense stats. So those are all pretty decent moves. It appears that my team is not interested in learning them because they're a bunch of jerks, but that's okay. They don't need no heckin' TMs. I feel like this music reminds me of like the music inside the, uh, the game corner, but I don't think there's a game corner in this iteration of this game. But I thought there was a game corner in general, but I could be wrong. Maybe the OG ones had a game corner, or maybe they phased them out. I don't remember exactly why, but I think it had something to do with Game Freak not wanting to put gambling in their games anymore. All right, why are you talking smack to me? Mr. Scientist, Mr. White Shirt and White Pants. Ooh, yeah. Time to dunk on your Kadabra. I saw something interesting recently. Every so often I'll randomly just watch a video about Pokemon lore or, you know, origins of how things happen. And I saw something interesting that, as you can see, Kadabra does have a star on its forehead. Alakazam, I don't believe does, but it did. If you go and look at its Pokemon Green Sprite and you bump up the contrast you can see that alakazam unless it already does still have what i'm about to say then ig ignoring but i doubt it because it's a little controversial alakazam has a star of david on its head which i think is interesting it is a symbol of the jewish faith and ethnicity Ooh, force palm yes hopefully i got those words right if i didn't i apologize tall all the Jews out there, okay. So it's a little more powerful. Powerful. I promise I'm not having a stroke. I'm just struggling to speak. A little more powerful than Rock Smash. So Force Palm it is. I remember Force Palm being a move that I used a lot when I played Diamond. I don't remember who had it. I think it was a move that Cranidos or Rampardos could learn. Right, what is this hallway? Can I kill you? Or <laughs> Oops, that was a little aggressive, sorry. Can I kill your feelings? Ooh, Sludge Bomb, that's a good one. Yeah, we'll definitely do a retooling, a move retooling. Ooh, the Galactic Key. The key! Yes. So this should be the key that unlocks every door here. 
and it makes me think back. I told this story already once, but it's a good story, and you're a captive audience, so enjoy. When I played the original Pokemon Red, that was my my first foray into Pokemon when I was a, a wee lad, and I took my sweet time playing it. I got stuck in the Silphco building, which actually was listening to a podcast, and they talked about a Sylph being kind of your muse, a, uh, a person you care about or somebody you admire, you fawn for. I don't know if that's the same spelling as Sylphco, because my hands are on my controller where they should be, and I don't have time to fire up the old dictionary, but Sylphco got very lost in it, and... The reason why I got lost is because there's a hallway, I believe on the fifth floor, that I have PTSD just talking about it. On the fifth floor, that, I mean, come on, Wurmple, and at this point in the game, if this is like a level 30 Wurmple, I'm going to be very upset, and I bet it is too. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Anyway, so I got stuck on that because in between the teleporters is where you get the master key for the building. What I did not know is that when you take the teleporter, you can hop right off of it, grab the key, and continue. And it was frustrating because that stopped me from playing for like four months. Apparently, I was just so scarred by it back then that I didn't want anything to do with it. And uh, yeah, I just kind of gave up for a bit. I was a quitter, but you know, I came back to it I eventually beat the Elite Four with my level 7,000 Charizard, so it was fine. Everything worked out the way that it was supposed to. It's okay. But yeah. It just makes me think back to how really stuck I got. Also, that did nothing. Is this Dustox just like super tanky or something? What's going on? Of course, I don't have any rock type moves to put it in its place. That did a little bit, what, a little bit better. Oh my gosh, is my entire team just going to be poisoned now? I don't know if there's enough Petcha Berries in the world right now for this. Can you just quit? Although I do love the way that poison sound effect sounds in my ears with my headphones on. You should definitely be listening to my Let's Plays in your headphones for the occasional asthma moment. Like right now. This is for all of you out there with headphones on. You're welcome. Okay. Slash, a great move, okay. Um, sand attack is kind of a weak thing to do, and slash is fun. Yeah, we don't need to set up with no sand attack. Boo. That's cheating. That's a weak way out. I say that, and I'm gonna really want it. Be like, man, I would really love to have a sand attack right now to stall. Not gonna be doing too much stalling. The bathroom stall with the brap 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 is the only time I'm going to be doing that. Man, what are these? Are bug types not weak to ice anymore? Like, have things changed? I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm incredulous. Oh man, this could hurt. I actually probably should heal this poison and heal my team up. Got plenty of malk for him, so there's no real excuse. But we're doing okay. That's right. Taking down your three stages of the... The Wurmple line. Or two stages, I guess, technically. Yeah, that's how I feel about a lot of things, too. Fire's Remorse. Okay. So let's go ahead and heal up. We have... Many Petra Berries. I'm not sure how you poison a ghost, but... It is what it is, and we will now use our... Ooh, we're getting low on Moo Moo Milk, actually. Uh-oh. Go back to cafe... Whatever, everyone wants to fight me during lunch. It's kind of rude. I like to shut my office door during lunch and relax. I don't need people trying to fight me. You don't have to worry. Also, that was kind of meta. Ooh, the frame right there was not enjoying itself. That was kind of weird. I just don't understand. See, life's all about perspective, everybody. Take some time and have a thorough discourse, a nice long discussion with terrorists. Just do it. 
But in reality, you know, these... These galactic grunts who are on the bottom floor... They probably don't legitimately understand what they're doing because they're... They're led to... Just do the quote grunt work. You know, they're not told the big picture stuff. This is class warfare, everybody. That's what this is. Also, that's the first time I've seen smoke screen in a while. We don't use moves like that, especially not sand attacks. Lame. Oh, get. Ugh. I say that, and I knew, I knew that I was gonna get burnt by saying that the moment I said it. Oh my gosh! It was one. It was one. Why is one smoke screen that powerful? Please don't poison me. Okay, Venom Shock's a good move if you already have a uh, a status induced on the enemy. I think it does double damage, which is pretty good. I mean, we are not getting a... We're not getting very much experience. Yeah, that's right. Talking smack, you can't back it up. Okay. So I think we basically have gotten every... What are you doing? You're just spinning in circles. Uh oh. They're onto us. They smelled our toots. This is what we get for drinking all that milk. Okay. I'm really tempted to just burn through this building as I'm burning it up in the hallway and just, you know, use my strongest attacks, but I'm trying to mix it up for all of you. But man, these fights are not super exciting. I apologize for that. I'm doing my best for this family to put food on this table. Breaking my back over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get back to Grayson. I would love to use the weaker members on the team, but unfortunately they are, by and large, weaker, not doing enough damage, and they they don't eat attacks very well. That's the bigger thing, is like, I can I can understand that they're not going to be doing a ton of damage, I get that, but the defensive side of things makes it a little tough to bring them around town. That was pretty good. A lot of base level Pokemon that we're running into now. So this is actually a pretty decent opportunity. That's right, whoever smelt it, dealt it. A good opportunity for you to bring your lower level Pokemon. Ooh, this looks like we're getting into science experiment zone. I'm pretty sure we got everything in here. No. Does that area of there look... That looks like we've explored that, doesn't it? Can't quite see the bottom of that room, but... Are we in a room with two of them on the... I don't know. Before we get in too deep, let's go back and re-explore just for a moment. This is good content. I think, because I don't want to leave any stone unturned. I took this staircase back when I got the key the first time around. I think this just loops, so I'm probably just wasting time. Valuable moments. Yes, that looks to be the case. But I want to take all the warps just for my peace of mind. Just for a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Please don't sue me. Who makes Kit Kats? I don't even know. Is it Hershey's? Mars? I don't know. But Kit Kats are great. What are some of your favorite types of chocolate, everybody? What are some of your favorite types of chocolate not acquired through war and conflict. Has anybody ever had a Bueno bar? Anybody know what those are? I had those once. I think they're from the United Kingdom, the UK. And uh, man, they are something else. A nice little treat. Okay, so we are looping here. That much I am assured of. So I was on the right track. There's only so many ways you can go. So once you dunk on all these fools... Yeah, I think this is game car music. My brain's all over the place tonight. Alright. Let's go and save these guys. Oh wait. Is this not the way to go? Did I go the wrong way? Is that all this room? Oh my goodness. So that was, that was not the final way to go. And this frame rate, I don't know if it's because I'm like recording the game, but like it, I can see it like slowing down as I'm, as I'm playing. 
Okay, so maybe this teleporter will take us where we want to go? I don't think so. Did I already get lost after I said I wasn't going to? Oh boy. And we took these, uh... We took the teleporters. It seemed right at the time! I don't really think there's additional ones that I can take. Where else do I go? Is there another door that I missed? We'll find it. Don't worry. I mean, I've already run past this area twice. Maybe I just need to go in the front door, because I this is all me going in the back door. Are there balloons on top of that building? I guess that kind of makes sense. There's like weather balloons. Actually, this is a good time. It gives me a chance to heal. Oh, I walked right past it. it. Gives me a chance to heal up really quick because my team's all banged up. I wasted all those milks. Don't waste your milk, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And I think now that I've got a chance, I can swap the team out here for a moment. I don't know if you can do it inside. And I wasn't really having a ton of success with the party at the time. So let's get Craig in there. Craig sounds like a good choice. Everybody else isn't quite caught up yet. That's the downside. Okay. Buster's such a high level too. You never would have known it. And... Yes. That looks good. Bring those two along. Get some tight variety on the team. As I go in the front door. I don't know if this is a different part of the building or not. It is. Oh, look at you running the first the front desk. Always, always promoting. Okay. So I think I did do everything. See, they're just trying to go green. Can't fault them for that. Uh, excuse me, we've taken down so many terrorists. We can join whoever we want. But yes, I do believe now, once you clean up the back door, this is where you need to go. This looks right. Oh, was that going to be a double battle and now I have to fight them separately? No. That is a huge pain in the buns. Oh my goodness. Dislike. I am not enjoying myself. And, but it is a gold bat. So, at the very least, bringing Craig along was smart. I wish, wish I had Rock Slide. I think his Rock Tomb is a pretty good alternative. Great. Oh my gosh. Stop. Craig, you did a wonderful job, but we don't have time for that. And another gold bat. Um, you know what? We need to raise up these other people. We raise them up. So I can stand on the top of the Veilstone headquarters. And some of our weaker Pokemon are actually stronger than some of our opposition. So that's good. You know, we're making some progress. Oof. I don't know if Golbat has a lot of special defense or something, but that was not cool. Okay. This is just a battle of lowering each other's stats. I think I need to teach Suzanne here a, uh, a heaping helping of Ice Beam. I don't know if I have a TM for Ice Beam right now, but ooh, it's using Turd Cutter on me. Hang in there, Suzanne. And finish it off with another Icy Wind. An Icy Wind for an Icy Wind. <laughs> Got him. Okay. So we are doing great. And now we have to do another battle that could have been a double battle and saved me time. Uh, this is unfortunate. And I feel like there's probably a boss battle at the end of this. I just know it in my bones. Feel it deep in my bones. All right. Why doesn't anybody have a crowbat? Are you guys so unlikable that you can't even get yourselves a crowbat? Is that like boss tier only? Crowbat is so great. 
It's definitely one of my favorite Pokemon, and in uh, Gold and Silver, when Crobat first debuted, you would raise a, uh, a Golbat to Happiness Evolution. I think it evolves via Happiness at night, kind of like Umbreon. But uh, yeah, its uh, move pool is kind of poop, which makes me sad because it's great and I love it, but it is not good. It is not good. In the same way that, and it's got great stats, great attacking stats and speed. In the same way that Heracross in Gen 2. What on earth is the type of this, these things? What am I missing here? I thought bugs were weak against poison. Is it like a normal type 2 or something? Oh my goodness. Let's use the nuclear option here. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. Is there anything this way? There's more teleporters. No! We're already lost. Can I fight you? There's beds. I take a nap. Yeah, this episode is like 700 battles. I apologize for those of you who wanted to get more of this story going along. And the only variety are really these scientists and they just have cadabras. I don't quite get that. And what What's the significance of a, of a cadabra? Unless it's meant to be like a uh, a reference to um, like using psychic energy, like telekinetic energy. I don't know. I'm grasping for straws here. I'm grasping for paper straws because I care about the environment. Oh boy, this could be bad. I don't know if we're gonna be fast enough to outspeed this Kadabra. But we are. Never mind. Just kidding. We're amazing. You know what I've seen that's kind of weird? I don't know how I feel about this, but I've seen at certain restaurants primarily like, ooh, that's a level up for basically everybody. Nice. Maybe some new moves, huh? Whoa, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that, Craig. Look at that beefy attack stat. We like that, love it, and want more of it. Nope, no moves. That would have been awesome. Why, why should I get to enjoy myself and have fun? But anyway, at some restaurants, primarily Italian restaurants, I've seen that, is this a free heal? Eh? Yes. Let's just take a nap as we're, as we're infiltrating this terrorist headquarters. You can do that in, in Silfco as well. Okay, that looks like that's heading to the top of the building. Yeah, man, this episode's another long one. It's really tough not to play Pokemon and like play it for a long time just by virtue of how many battles you have to do and all that jazz. I don't know where any of these teleporters are leading me to. I'm playing a little Wimbly Nimbly here. Ooh, there we go. Max Revive? Not sure who Max is, but he left his Revive here. Oh wow, I still didn't finish what I was saying about restaurants. I get so sidetracked when I do these Let's Plays. Some of them, instead of straws, paper or plastic, they have, they'll give you a, a noodle, a noodle that you can, uh, what is the point of this room? Is this the dead end? Oh, screw you game. They'll give you a noodle that you can, you can suck on that noodle and, uh, get that liquid in your mouth. So that's really cool. It's good for the environment. Good for your mental health as well. Okay. So we have a double battle coming up here. Let's swap out. Let's put Grayson and Suzanne up there and see if they can wreck some crap while we're here. All right, do I have Ice Beam? I would love to just teach Ice Beam. Uh, can I sort by name? Here we go. I don't know what these TMs are off the top of my head. I'm not smart enough for that. Yes, Ice Beam. I know that Suzanne can eventually learn Ice Beam, but I want it right now. Because we are not doing enough damage for me. Ice Beam is a special move. And our special... Oh, That's why we're not doing anything. Cause, oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have... um Avalanche. That's a physical ice move, right? We just got that from... Uh, yeah! We just got that from... Whatever her name is. Candace. Yes. So, no wonder we're not doing anything. Our, our moveset is not... 
in tune. We're a physical attacker. Oh. I don't know if there's anything else that's good that Suzanne could learn right this moment. Need some uh Yeah, let's learn let's learn a fighting move. I mean, you're supposed to learn moves that can counter Pokemon that you know would be able to hurt you. But sometimes it's fun just to have your Pokemon just have random things, right? I need to hurry up. All this jimmer jammering. <laughs> Unauthorized and unsettling tour. I love it. If we if you put me down, am I at the vet? Jeez! Chill out. Those are nasty. Okay. So this seems like this will be okay. We got a poison. Poison fighting and a poison dark? Can we use. Is Bulldo. Oh, Bulldoze is just gonna knock everybody out. But you know what? Let's see if we can avoid it. We'll hone our claws in the meantime. This will probably wipe out. It might wipe out everything. So we'll see if Suzanne can withstand one of Grayson's bulldozes. This could be horrible. Probably would have made sense to use it on a... Oh yeah, that was awesome. Look at that. Suzanne taking one for the team. <laughs> and it lowers Suzanne's speed. Oh boy. But hey, it took out two birds. With... Okay. Two turds with one bulldoze. How about that? Another crow gun? I guess we probably shouldn't be using that move too much. It seems like it's like the, um, maybe like a precursor to Earthquake. So that makes sense. But we can use, uh, let's use Dragon's Breath. And now that we have Low Sweep, that was a good move, see? We can use it on Glammy now. I'm not sure if it'll be enough to take it out, but. Yeah, Dragon's Breath is a good move. Not the best Dragon move, but. Yeah, see, that was, that was amazing. And who knew that Sneasel was so fast? I did. So I'm amazing. You're welcome. Oh boy. This is gonna hurt. Okay, so I did not know that that Krogan was gonna have revenge. That is uncool, but I guess it's fair. Everybody loves Raymond. Let's get out the noobs in here. Another stunky. Oh my gosh. Another stunky? Let's see. Let's finish off this crow gunk. I don't really have anything good against it. All right, and I need to. We'll, we'll use the revival on the next turn. We need to make sure we can take all these, all these fools out. Let's force palm it. Get that sweet, sweet stab. As I look at my timer, and I'm already at the 43 minute mark, and I have not fought the boss. Oh boy, this could be an episode for the record books here. Yes. Yes, Dragon Breath it is. We, I would love to use Bulldoze, but on these double battles, it's not really a great idea, unfortunately. Unless you want your team to get nuked. If you have a bird, then you're doing great. It's a good combo. I guess you gotta think about combos. Man, Samuel is thick, look at that. Unfortunately, no experience for Suzanne. That's what I get for not having revived. But you know what? Where are my items? There we go. Okay. And I don't think I have any potions. Do I? I have like the super duper... Oh, excuse me. I have like the super duper ones, but I don't have any worse ones. Anyway, that's fine. You know what? Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, mo oh no. <laughs> More war panels! What does this lead me to? Okay, so that's the boss. Okay. Alright, let's check out the remaining panels here and see... There's probably like a Master Ball or something in here, I guarantee it. An Elixir! That's the same thing, right? Okay. And... One more warp panel. So we did them in the wrong order. Okay, is there something hidden behind here? There is not. Screw you, game. Okay. 
So back to the original panel, which is the one that we should have done. We'll take these stairs all the way to the top. Yes. Anything else? Okay. Who's ready for a boss battle? I know I am. But we'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And I'll see you for a next time boss battle. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.